Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. And in this one, I'll be making these mouth-watering, irresistible bacon and cheese turnovers. They're very quick and simple to make and are absolutely delicious. And if you don't use pork products, there's lots of other meats you can use instead. One great alternative is turkey bacon, also known as facon. That can be used. I'll suggest a few more alternatives when we get to that part in the video. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. I'd also like to thank my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thanks supporters for their very kind help in producing these tutorial videos. I'll be giving you all a name splash and shout out a little later in the video. Okay, let's get on with today's recipe. Okay, I'll start by quickly going through most of the ingredients in this recipe. And the first one is four spring onions chopped fine. Next is two cloves of garlic also chopped fine. And the bacon I'm using is this unsmoked back bacon cut into small pieces and I've removed most of the fat as well. And for the cheese I'm using a 50-50 blend. I'm using half mature cheddar and half red Leicester. I like the contrast in the colours but you can use all cheddar if you wish. On to the puff pastry. You can of course make your own if you wish. I do have a great video on how to do that but it is quite time consuming. I'll leave a link in the description below the video. But I want to focus on making this a quick and convenient recipe. So I'll be using one of these ready-made puff pastry products. This 320 gram pre-rolled one is okay but it's a bit on the small side for this recipe. So I'll be using this 500 gram block of puff pastry. It's cheaper and you get a lot more for your money. Right, apart from the bacon, I'll mix all of the ingredients together in a bowl, starting with the cheese. Next to go in is the onions and the garlic. Now I like to add a little dried sage to these turnovers, it gives them a lovely flavour, but that's entirely optional. Finally, a good pinch of black pepper. You definitely don't need to add salt to this recipe. There's enough salt in the cheese and the bacon. Now I'll give that a good mix and divide the mixture into four equal parts. For rolling the pastry out, I'll be using our adjustable stainless steel rolling pin. Now these are also available on the website. These amazing rolling pins take all of the guesswork out of rolling your pastry out to the correct thickness. And for this one, I'll be using the 3mm or 1 8 spacer. On to rolling out the pastry. Now if your pastry has been in the fridge for more than 2 hours, take it out 30 minutes before you intend to use it. Ok, first job. Give your bench and your pastry a good dusting of flour. Now, using my bench scraper, I'll cut my block of puff pastry into four equal pieces. Keep dusting when needed. Take one of the pieces and start rolling it out. Keep turning the pastry 90 degrees as you go and that'll keep the shape square. When the pin spacer starts touching the bench, you should have approximately a 7 inch square. Right, I'll put that aside and I'll do the other three off camera. And there you go, that's all four pieces done. Now I'll have a quick clean up and when I come back I'll start putting these together. For baking these turnovers on I'll be using our heavy duty carbon steel baking tray. Even though these are non-stick, it's always best to line with parchment paper when baking puff pastries. The tray dimensions are on screen. Time to assemble these beautiful pastries. First job is to make the egg wash. 
crack a large egg into a container, add a dash of milk and whisk vigorously until it runs off the whisk as a loose liquid. And if you can't use or just don't like eggs, you can simply milk wash your pastry instead. OK, time to start putting these together. Take one of your pastry sheets. Very lightly mark a triangle guide as shown. This is a great way of getting your filling in the right place. Place half of one portion of your cheese mixture into the triangle. Now you can add some bacon, about two thirds of it. And like I said in the intro, you can use other raw meats as long as it's cut very thin. Turkey, chicken or beef are good examples. But if you can, bacon is best. Now keep building it up until you've used all of the ingredients for each turnover. Now brush egg wash onto all of the visible pastry. OK, grab the opposite corner of the pastry and turn it over the filling as shown. And that shall be just lying on top of the filling. Now brush egg wash on the point of the turnover. Now lift up the little corner and stick it down. This locks the two turnovers together. Now gently press down the edges. Now fold over both sides on top of itself. And this means when it's baked, those edges will be double the height, acting as a dam to keep in the filling. This is a very technical pastry. And that's what it should look like when you're done. Now I'll get that one on the tray and do the other three off camera. Before going any further, preheat your oven to 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 3. All there is to do now is to give them a good coat of the egg wash. And when I say a good coat, get plenty on. Not only does the wash give shine and colour, it's the glue that holds them all together. And don't be concerned if any of the egg wash goes into those open gaps. That too will prevent the filling from escaping as the egg cooks. Time to get them into the preheated oven. Once in, set your timer for 45 minutes. And while those are baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my four recipe books a quick shout out. The books have lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in them. And also book 4 in this series is totally dedicated to bread recipes. Also the skeleton style oven gloves now supporting our company name are also available too. Just check out the link in the description box to our website store if you're interested in any of these items. Ok, time's up on these wonderful turnovers. And they're looking fantastic, and smelling even better. They're a wonderful shiny golden brown colour, and they're holding together nicely. No leakage at all. One of our local supermarkets actually sell these, and they charge £2.40 each for them, and they aren't even half the size of these. And that's just one reason for making these yourself. Right, I'll get them onto a wire rack and let them settle for a couple of moments. And when I come back, I'll cut one open, let you see what they're like on the inside, and of course, have a little taste. Right, it's been a couple of minutes and I'm all tidied up. It's time to cut one open and have a taste. The pastry is very light and crispy, and that filling looks really appetising. Right, it's been long enough, time to give them a try. Straight in, no messing. Absolutely delicious. In fact, I'd better check again. Honestly, what an amazing pastry this is. They really are absolutely delicious, guys. And so easy and quick to make. What's not to like? Definitely a big thumbs up for this amazing bacon and cheese turnover. I really hope you give this one a try, everyone. And as promised at the beginning of the video, here is the latest list of my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thank You Button supporters. And they are Mark Hunt, 
Ellen Powell, John Galbraith, Alice Rhodes, Jens K3250, Fiona Cavalier, Bear Cub 599, The Doctor 1225, AJ Constantine 3593, Puerto Rican Rattlesnake, and finally The Pillard, and there's also two who wish to remain anonymous. Thanks very much guys, I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.